I was disappointed that uh, the medical profession had not accepted in the 10 years after the publication of my book, Vitamin C and the Common Cold, the fact that large doses of vitamin C do have value in controlling the common cold and also other diseases. Now 20 years have gone by, 23 years, and uh, there are good signs that uh, the value of high doses of vitamins is being accepted. I'm disappointed that uh, the United States National Academy of Sciences during the last three or four years has published several books on health, such as Health After the Age 50, in which a strong recommendation is made that people increase their intake of fruits and vegetables in order to get more of uh, vitamin C, vitamin E, and vitamin uh, beta carotene, precursor of vitamin A, and have then gone on to say, but do not take vitamin supplements. And you know, no, no reason is given as to why uh, people who want to improve their health should not take vitamin supplements. They're cheaper. And moreover, you can get real orthomolecular amounts with vitamin supplements, impossible, no matter how well you select your diet, to get these amounts from the food. So there's still something that needs to be done. And I think it will be done during the next 10 years. Thank you, Professor Pauling. I think this is a good end of our interview.